Okay, well, I just went around the laid down stump over there. I uh, turned the camera off so that I can navigate it safely. And this is on the other side. Uh, the rock wall has gone down into the into the earth over there. But if you can see, it comes up on this side now. And it's just solid limestone rock. It's like a like a wall. And uh, I'm coming up, I think, to the place that I want to be at. I mean, this this place, you know, looks like trash had come down here because when the creek is flowing, it's flowing and it's flowing hard, and. It just takes everything with it. Trash. I saw a cat transport box or thing. Look at this, a railroad tie. If, if you can move a railroad tie, if you can move a railroad tie across over the, the land like this, that's some pretty strong water. Yeah, this is where I wanted to come to. See, they got that rock wall right here. It's coming all the way around. This is a spiny vine. It's got a lot of big thorns on it. So I don't want to get near it. Here we go. And here the wall makes its reappearance again. Now, no doubt this is all caused by erosion. Now, I won't be able to go much further. Look at this big old slab right here. This big old slab up on that tree. Let's go see if I can find a way to get over there. Take a look at the other side. You got another one right there. And you got that tree just barely hanging off of the edge of the edge of that rock there. Kind of gives you the feeling that it can come down at any time. All it takes will be a good rainstorm. But you have a lot of good material here. That's, you can tell that this is... Uh, rounded rock it's been rained and washed over by the creek for you know lord knows how long and you got two layers you got a light layer right here and then you got a darker layer which is right there uh i'm not quite sure what that would mean but uh this is where when that if you've seen the the video of the creek bed when it's in full uh full flowing it comes down right here to right there and then it falls into this pool and uh uh then it flows out you know it, it turns around and then, then it flows back out that way uh i've never been back here i've always wanted to be back here and uh and explore this a little bit and look at that you can just see where it just goes up inside up underneath that wall right there of rock so this is probably about 200 meters from my apartment so it looks cool and you have right there a little cave 
right there. And that uh, can be a home to a bobcat. And we do have bobcats out here. Um, a bobcat is a, about the size of a medium dog at full grown. And they, they're wild. And just like any other wild cat, like a lion, a tiger, a bear, oh my. <laughs> Uh, they they hunt for food and uh, so but this is nice I like this I like this this solid rock wall none of its granite or hard stone I mean this is sandstone or, or limestone all this area was once underwater uh, you can tell by the fossils that I see all over the place, bivalve clams, um, of course, you know, with, that are broken open. But see, I can get out from here. I took the long way around just to scout the area, but I can get out here. There's also deer back here. Uh, I have not seen any. It's actually too hot for them to be moving around uh, especially during the day they come out later in, in the evening when it's cool yeah look at this it's like it's a natural a natural protected spot so close the city 500 meters away and this is like a natural protected sewer right inside and you can see you can see where this was once occupied by uh, American Indians because you see flakes there's some chert right here, and it's been flaked off. American Indians once lived here. They were the Tonkawa. And uh, oh, look at that. A perfectly round hole in a rock. But uh, you can see all kinds of, uh, as I've been walking around up here, I've been seeing a lot of uh, broken chert and flint that's been flaked off. You can see where the, they took the flakes off to make arrowheads and, uh, and spear points. But uh, uh, the Tonkawa have been assimilated into Texas culture, into Texas. Uh, there, so there's no more a a uh, Otakawa people. And uh, Texas looks at things like this. If you're born in Texas, raised in Texas, born and raised, you're a Texan, so it doesn't matter what your heritage is so if you are Filipino you moved here and you had your children here your children would be considered Texan and uh, and that that's just the way Texas is it does not recognize Native American status uh, but <coughs> so here I'm coming to the end of my journey because I'm coming back around to the front uh, on top of that waterfall thing. To me it's like a great big waterfall. I've never been out here when the water is going because when the water is coming down that creek after a good rainstorm, you don't want to be in it. It will wash you away. As you can see the power of it. I mean, look at these rocks. 
they're not jagged anymore. You know, the water has washed them. Here's a view from the top. There we go. You can see that stagnant pool down there. And uh, some of the debris that has fallen in there. They did have some city workers did come out here and clean out most of the debris the last time. Oh, about a month ago. And uh, so if you hear this clank, clack, 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 I just realized it. It's my lens cover. Uh, clacking up against the phone. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to silence that. But yeah, guys, this is it. A walk in the jungle just behind my apartments. We also have wild hogs here. Um, we have, uh, of course, I said bobcat. We have deer. And there are some uh, antelope here. Uh, but they kind of stay out of the cities. They, they go out in the, in the open fields. I mean, look at this. See? And there's your, that's the railroad tracks. That's just right behind the apartments. So, I, you know, this is really close to it. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. I know it's been a long time. Uh, and thank you for all of my subscribers. Uh, you've, you have helped me out a lot. Uh, I could use some more. And uh, if you are watching, please watch the ads. Uh, just let the ads run. I don't expect you to watch a 10-minute uh, ad. Uh, I don't expect you to watch an hour ad. I've seen some ads for an hour. I don't expect it. And uh, so, but just, you know, watch the ads. That'll help me out. My goal is to get to the Philippines as soon as possible. And I thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.